Hi everyone, welcome to virtualbrigade.com. In this video, I'll explain what is transport zone and what are the different types of transport zones that we have and how to configure the transport zones. So a transport zone is basically the perimeter of the overlay network and it also defines the scope or the reachability of the logical switch. And uh, the transport zone uh, can be of two different types. You can configure the overlay transport zone and the VLAN transport zone. And once you configure the overlay transport zone and the VLAN transport zone, you can add various different types of uh, hypervisors. You can add the ESXi host or the KVM host to the overlay transport zone. And you can add the NSX edge to the VLAN transport zone as well as the overlay transport zone. In NSXT 2.1, the hypervisor host can only belong to one uh, transport zone. You cannot add the hypervisor host to multiple transport zones and the hypervisor host will always belong to the overlay transport zone. And the NSX edges can be a part of multiple transport zone. The NSX edges can be part of the overlay transport zone as well as the VLAN transport zone. So here as you can see we have six different ESXi host, KVM host and the NSX edges. So uh, the a transport zone basically defines the reachability of the logical switch called overlay transport uh, zone. So when you are creating the transport zone you need to associate the host switch. So this particular host switch will be configured across all the transport nodes and this host switch can also be called as a NSX managed virtual distributed switch called NVDS. And uh, the transport zone uh, basically defines the reachability of the host switch that we have configured which is the overlay transport zone. And the NSX uh, edges can be a part of multiple transport zone. As you can see we have the NSX edge 01A and 02A which are connected to the overlay transport zone as well as the VLAN based uh, transport zone. And when you configure the VLAN based transport zone you need to associate the host switch. So this particular host switch will be created on the NSX edges. So on the NSX edges you will see the overlay based host switch and also you will see the VLAN based host switch. So basically the transport zone uh, defines the perimeter of the overlay network. The virtual machines running on this, uh, these ESXi host would be able to communicate with each other and the virtual machines running on these ESXi host or the KVM host in this particular transport zone will not be able to communicate with the other virtual machines running on a different transport zone. So the, uh, the virtual machines within, the, uh, within this particular transport zone will be able to communicate with each other and the virtual machines running on the different transport zone will not be able to communicate with the, uh, ho with the virtual machines running on this particular transport zone. So we have seen what is a transport zone. So transport zone is the perimeter of your overlay network and it also defines the scope or the logical switch and you can add different types of trans uh, different types of transport nodes like ESXi and the KVM host to the transport zone and we have two different types of tra uh, transport zones you can call uh, you can configure the overlay based transport zone and also can configure the VLAN based transport zone the hypervisor host can only belong to one transport zone and you cannot add uh, more than one transport zone for the ESXi and the KVM hypervisors. And the NSX edges can be a part of multiple transport zones. So this is uh, the transport zone. I thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Please do subscribe.